Two Memphis families are grieving after losing their loved ones to senseless shootings. Tonight, WREG's Troy Washington talked to those who knew the victims and shows us how investigators are hoping to track down the killers. Piece by piece, those who knew Fidel Alamadi tucked all that he owned away onto this U-Haul truck just hours after finding his lifeless body lying just feet away from the doorstep to his Whitehaven apartment on Graves Road. She was screaming, trying to get the police. You know, just letting them know that he's bleeding, he's bleeding. Y'all need to get here, you know. And that what, that what brought me outside. And when I seen him laying there, when I seen him laying there. That shooting took place just before 2.30 Saturday morning. On this surveillance video WREG got from the snack convenience store next door, you can see police cars rushing to help Alamadi. Police turned to this store for answers about the murder, hoping that their surveillance video would help lead them to a suspect. Parking their crime scene investigation units out front and canvassing the parking lot for clues across town just before the clock struck four. In uptown, gunfire set neighbors to the floor crawling in fear. Seven or eight shots. There was a pause, seconds. And it's maybe like another seven or eight shots. Hubert Bill says at first he thought someone was just shooting in the air, but then he looked out his window to see a parked car with flashing lights in the alley behind this business on North 2nd Street. He later learned the man inside was gunned down and didn't survive. Now he wants the gunplay to stop. Put the guns down and they, you live to fight, fight them, but you want to fight them and fight them. Well, at least you live to fight another day. Reporting in Memphis, Troy Washington, WREG News Channel 3. So far, investigators haven't released any information on suspects in these homicides. But if you know anything, call Crime Stoppers at 528-CASH.